The following is a PFL Europe regular season contest in the Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is an MMA specialist and stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. He went in officially at 136.3 pounds and holds a professional record of 9 wins and 2 losses. Fighting out of Gran Canaria, Spain, yeah. Rashid. Out of the red corner, he is a striking specialist and stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. He weighed in officially at 135.8 pounds and in 18 professional fights has built a record of 13 victories and 5 defeats. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, France! The referee in charge, Rich Mitchell. Franz Malambo in the yellow trunks, Rashid Haas in the gray. Three five minute Stay rounds. Back. The winner is You're headed ready. to Paris, ready. France Let's go. for a bantamweight semi final appointment. Now, the calmness and composure of Franz Malambo can sometimes make his opponents a little too relaxed. They feel like they're gonna start off with a steady round and then wham, it'll hit them with something that they didn't expect. He's very, very slick and very calm. I feel like Rashid Hadz is gonna be the one that pulls the trigger first here. And uh, <laughs> it's gonna be very difficult to catch him with something. Low What's kick there from Malambo. Already a warning on the eye poke. Time out. Stay here for me, one second. Swinging like this, you've got to be careful. Keep your fist closed. Stay there. Yeah, no problem. Can I have a towel, please? Malambo requested a towel to wipe away some Vaseline. Friends, do you need the doctor? No, 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 just I've got to do a bicycle. No problem, no problem. Rich Mitchell making sure everything's okay with the eye. You've got plenty of time, friends. No, 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 yep, good, good. scraped it. Open hand slap there. Tell me when you're ready, yeah? And you can see okay. Malambo with the admonishing look, <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> guy, gotta, gotta close that fist. <laughs> okay, He'll be a referee when he retires. <laughs> Show sportsmanship on the restart here. 40 seconds gone. Control. A lot of pressure on the neck here for Malambo to deal with. Haas had both his knees off the ground. So his full body weight is on the neck. He's got a oh. fun flu, but beautiful job by Malambo going straight for a guillotine here. Still working on it against the submission specialist here. He looks like he, he might be confident to take a bite of this guillotine here. Malambo trying to elevate that. Elbow, but now has to let go. Good job from Haas using his butterfly to lift Malambo. Back to the feet here after a quick scramble on the ground. Oh, I heard that bang against his knee. That's going to discourage him from throwing that low kick again. This time he goes up high with the lead leg, Rashid Haas. Trying to dictate the pace of this fight early. He's a very tricky individual, as Rashid has. He flows in through strikes from the outside, but when it hits the floor, that, that submission attack is continuous. I was impressed that... Oh, I was impressed that Franz was able to get something to discourage him from, uh, from continuing that top pressure. Beautiful takedown. Right into the takedown, and the corner was asking for it. Once again, all the way over to the side. He's wise to it this second time around, his has. Oh, 
arm triangle. Very quick with sitting, setting up these submissions. Be aware of that right elbow Obviously position. in this kind of style of grappling. Look at John Kevin on the corner of Franz Malambo. He can both get really that right elbow back pressure. under the chin. Kawi's keeping his hands really tight into the side of, of Franz Two Malambo's body go. as well. Keeping his head on the Good canvas so he can't the left escape that arm. The mount, yes. Malambo manages to squeeze it underneath Mindful there. Mindful of that right elbow position. Uh, still inside control here. Good job. Goes back to the shoulder pressure. He'll try to pass his knee over the belly of Franz Malambo to attain the mount. Stop sign for now from Franz Malambo's left leg. Now trying some knees from the bottom. Yeah, just a little bit close to have any kind of impact on them, but now has returned. Trying to slide that knee across into mount again. 90 seconds remain in this round. Malambo's got his arm underneath Haas. He's going to try to bump him up and move towards where his legs are now. But Haas is recognizing it. On the full mount. He's got to watch out for the triangle here. He's got the arm lock. He's got an arm triangle too. It's just a little bit too high to create, to create enough pressure, I feel, with the arm triangle. But it's going to certainly solidify his mount position if he's able to clear that leg. Something else for Franz Malambo to think about. You can see Malambo's actually got a hand on his ankle trying to slow that mount, uh, you know, that mount a, a, a down a little bit. Clever work from Malambo. <laughs> Malambo <laughs> campaigning to the referee. <laughs> Might be better served to use that energy to try and get up. You know, it might be a, a psychological ploy to get his opponent moving. Complaining to the referee, complaining to the opponent that he's not doing enough. He might then open up. So he's looking for this arm. I'm telling you, those limb attacks is something that Malambo's got to be very careful of. Use that leg swing and get to the single. But the body type from Malambo is always very difficult to get back to guard because your legs and your arms are that long, and Haas is doing a really good job controlling him. Final few seconds here of round one, and Rashid Haas will finish on top. Spain's putting itself on the map as a grappling country right now. Specifically Grand Canaria. We gotta right. take a trip. Canary Jiu Jitsu. Side push kick there from Franz Malambo. He's in the southpaw stance. Trying to go to the body with the right hand there. Oh, nice. Tries to pull him onto that. That left hook, oh, oh body nice shot. Nice right hand from Malambo. That one hurt. Keep that going, keep that going. And again, we go back to the weight miss. You've got to think Rashid has had, a, had an awful time trying to get on the scales at the right weight. Any body shots are going to really drain him. Yes. Lovely management of range by Malambo. He backs up, firing shots. Interesting little kick to the inside of the leg that he's doing there. Here comes the charge. Just out of range is Malambo. I was just about to say, I feel like he's going to start trying to set up that high kick. The ability to switch stance on Malambo's side is a real benefit. Now has switching stances, trying to open up his low kick attack. Yes. Here comes that level change in the charge from Rashid Haas. Malambo knew to shrug it off that time. Yes, Combination from Malambo. Haas stays outside of the range. Stop! Stop! You are swinging with your fingers open, You're swinging like this. This is going to be the last oh, warning. Fist. You understand? No more. You ready? For Haas. Oh, yeah. Nice work from the referee there. Oh. Seeing it before, it's another eye poke and a problem. Making sure Rashid Haas closes the fist. Malambo takes advantage of the restart. Spinning back kick there. You know, and a part of the problem is that Malambo's out of range, so Haas is doing everything he can to at least get something, even if it's a fingertip, to make contact with his opponent. That was a good front kick to the midsection from Haas. Oh, beautiful head kick from Haas. <laughs> Malambo doesn't agree. Malambo on the neck again. 
Jonathan Haas popping his head out. Still got those double underhooks though. Malambo needs to do something about that body lock. <laughs> those shots are really annoying, especially when they're to the to the ear. They hurt a lot. Nice knee to the, the thigh as well there. The balance from Malambo. Oh. Beautiful de defense by Rossi Daz. Still on the neck. Daz is still wobbly. Head still not clear from that big, big right hand from Malambo. Now Malambo's lunging. He's got to be careful. He doesn't walk onto something. Looks for the body shot again. Good job from Haas to close the distance. He does not want to get hit like that again. Nice takedown by Haas. And once again, lands right inside control now to the mouth. If Rashid Haas can keep his left knee down. Malambo recovers one leg. Something else that we have to consider is that these strikes from the bottom are scoring, especially when Rashid Haas is not doing as much from the top position. When these positions start to get stagnant, the, the judges will start to lean in the direction of the fighter that's, that's striking and trying to do something. We've seen oh, this a lot more since the rule change a few years ago. France, yeah? Well, especially now. No need for less to do this. There he is. He's done two so much. I mean, he got wobbled pretty bad in grand. this round. So just finishing in a controlled position is not going to guarantee you a win in the round. Absolutely not. He tried to mount. Malambo negated that, so Haas settles for side control. Seconds. You've got to think Malambo was close, closest to a, a, a submission with that guillotine attempt as well. <laughs> Final 10 seconds of round number two here. Franz Malambo nearly able to finish Rashid Haas, but Rashid will finish on top. So I'm not an official judge, but a round apiece potentially, and then of course Rashid Haas lost the point for missing weight and as the scenario was presented to us earlier if he did lose that round he needs to finish here absolutely he does absolutely he does put pressure on him of course but then you know franz malambo is going to want a conclusive victory here he's going to want a finish a little hug don't give him an underhook <laughs> you can't deny him three times malambo in the southpaw stance Francesco Nuzzi, one half of our main event, watching on intently. That left kick again from Raz. Raz is able to get inside, temporarily grab the leg, but Malambo clinches onto the neck immediately, and now Haas is trying to extricate himself from this point. Oh, that left head kick from Haas is very fast. Started Beautiful in. level change. Dialed in here. That was a lovely takedown by Haz. Elevated his leg high enough so he could take the base foot off the floor as well. You know, Malambo is going to be incredibly frustrated with himself if this, if this round gets stalled out or he gets uh, he gets beaten by decision. Keeps trying to find that long hook to right hand. Inside leg kick there, took the feet right out from under Franz Malambo. Slip on that one as well. Malambo faints into the body there. He looks a little bit hesitant given the fact that Haz has got such fast level changes. And we've got some blood on the above the eye of Malambo. Oh, Malambo caught an airborne Haz, but Haz rustling his way out of 
trouble potentially. He's got a guillotine though. Fresh Malabo. Wow. I mean, Rashid Haas was on autopilot there. You could see it. He was just driving for the takedown to try and get to a, a safe position for a moment. That's, you, you've got to think that is going to sway this judge's scorecards in this last round. Just approaching half a round to go. Franz Malambo may have just Halfway taken over Malambo. this third round. And he's clamped onto that arm as well. He's got to be careful. How's he going to move into full mount? Keep that half guard. Franz Malambo has got to get himself up off, off the right mat if he wants the now. judges to give him right the credit right he deserves right for that knockdown. Right to the mountain here for Rashid Haas. Incredible considering how hurt he was with that shot, but Malambo finds himself in top position. Beautiful reversal. Haas got too high, now Franz Malambo has two minutes to work from the top. He's got your head again. Take the hand off your head. Let's see how much Malambo's got left in the tank, and if he's really going to change the finish in this fight. I wonder what's going through his head with the pointed, point deduction. Like, how is he feeling? What is he thinking? Exactly. What's the scenario that he's getting? He's right there in front of his own corner. John Kavanaugh is a foot away from him, coaching him through this. Is he telling him to go for the finish? Is he telling him to stay in this top position? At the moment, it seems there's a lot of uh, anti-jujitsu coming from uh, from John Kavanaugh in the corner. Get his hand off the back of your head. Get his feet off your hips. It's a, a good attempt here. He's putting it on the line. Oh my goodness! Very, very, very difficult to finish against the fans. He's barely any space, but he's locking it up. This could be it. Decided to punch with the right hand instead of getting it back inside the guard. I think there's a lot of space in that triangle. I think uh, I think Malambo feels far more confident there than, than we do. He's on the wrong angle. Right uh, hand. Okay. Needs to try and finish this thing. The benefit of using the fence to keep your opponent cramped. Haz is going to have to circle his hips out one way or the other. Siga pegando. Twenty-five seconds to go. I think Malambo's going to pull his, his way out of this in a moment, land a few strikes through the center line. See how good Hazard's control is of the upper body of Malambo. Going again to tighten that triangle up. Ten second clap has gone. There's Malambo a couple right safe. hands from Malambo. I don't think this right triangle is going to finish right in that short time right or in this hand. position. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. Rashid Haas missed weight earlier in the week and therefore has a one-point deduction going into this contest. With that in mind, the judges scored this bout 29-27. 29-27 and 28-28. Making your winner via majority decision and securing their place in the PFL Europe playoffs. Franz Mahambo! Thank you, Dan Hardy. Yes, I am here with the victorious Franz Malambo now moving on to a semi-final in Paris. Really interesting fight. Strong first round from Rashid Haas. You had the moment, the knockdown, the near finish in round two, and the same thing in round three, but he was able to, to wrestle his way back into some, some threats and into some control. Were you confident at the end of this fight that you had won round two and three? I was. I felt it done. Loads, like, I, I done more damage, you know what I mean? He had the controls, like, a lot of the time. But I even kept saying to the ref, I was like, here, he's just, he's just holding. Because I could feel him. He, he'd get in the position, which is good. That's what you're supposed to do, get in positions in a, in a... He did that, but then he was just holding, you know what I mean? I understand it's part of the game, but, you know what I mean, we're here to fight. You know what I mean? That's why I was even in them, even in them positions when I was on my back. I was still trying to, like, do a bit of strike and do something, like, move around instead of just holding there, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, ring rust is a real thing. Do you know what I mean? When I came in, when I came in here, like the whole camp, I felt really fit, I felt real good. I felt better than ever. But uh, once you get in here, everything is different. I felt like I felt absolutely amazing before this. But once I got in here, I started moving around. That ring rust was real, man. And uh, I felt like I just wasn't as sharp as I wanted to be. 
Then even even there when I caught him and he was wobbly, usually I'd, I'd step back, take my time and finish him off. But I just, I took that opportunity to just be a bit sloppy. And so I'll make sure to just not have that happen again. But before we go on, Berlin, what's happening? What's happening? All right, so look, I'm very, very excited to be part of the PFL. Uh, my first, uh, you know, my first event with you guys was amazing. The treatment, everything, the trip was great. So I am thankful for the PFL to give me this opportunity. And I am looking very, very forward to uh, moving on and making PFL part of my family. Let's do it. One step closer to a PFL championship appearance, PFL Europe. We'll see you in Paris. Congratulations on a strong performance. Franz Malavo, ladies and gentlemen.